المتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. What are we talking about against Islamic studies? I can option. We're talking about the meaning of Quran. Okay, we talked about the sources of Aqidah, right? Yes. What did we say the source of Aqidah is? Quran, Quran, Surah, Sunnah, Sunnah, and I forgot the other. Who can help him? Ijma. Ijma. So the sources are what? Quran, Sunnah, and Ijma. And Ijma. These are the main sources. And then we have a secondary sources. What are they? The sound intellect. And then the pure what? The pure fitrah. And then we talk, now we're talking about the Quran, right? What do we say the Quran means linguistically? Uh, to read and recite. To read and recite. And it also means? To join. To join. What is it joining together? Surahs. Surahs. Juz. And what else is also bringing together? Everything. Everything that we need to, to, to know in this life. And then we said Quran technically means? So the first thing we said Quran is what? Very okay. So we said we said we covered one that the Quran in what language? Arabic. 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 So what does that take away? All the other. So when you say the Quran in the Arabic language, it takes away. Takes away what? The other books that came down in other than the Arabic language, like the Torah and Injil came down in what language? In the Hebrew. Very good. Also, when you say the Quran in the Arabic language. If a Quran is translated into English, does it take the same ruling as Quran? No. But yeah, okay. And then, then we also talked about is every word in the Quran originally Arabic? But then how do we how do we understand when Allah said we sent you down this Quran in the Arabic language? Akram. Yes. Very good. We say that these words originally maybe they came from a different language, but it got adopted and used so much in the Arabic language that it became part of the Arabic language. Like what? Mishkan and Sunnah. Very good. Okay, now the second we also said the Quran is the speech of Allah. Speech of Allah. We say the Quran is the speech of Allah, what does that take away? So when you say the Quran is the speech of Allah, what does it take away? The books that are changed. The other books are changed. No, when, once you say the Quran is the speech of Allah, then this takes away the speech of the angels, the speech of the jinn, the speech of the human beings, right? Meaning that the Quran is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. Number three, then you also mentioned. What did you mention about the Quran? The Quran is that which was revealed. Now, what does this take away? Now this takes away all of the other books that was revealed to Prophet Musa, Prophet Isa, Prophet Ibrahim, Prophet Dawood, and all the other books that was revealed, this removes it. This is what we covered last time, right? Yes. So now, we're going to add number four. And we also talk about how did the Quran come down? How? Two ways. How, what, what's the first one? It came down to the lowest what? Heaven. And, and when did this happen? At what night? Later to Qadr. That's why when you hear, that's why when you read the ayah, Inna anzalna fi layla, we sat down the Quran on the night of Qadr. How do we understand that the Quran came down on layer to Qadr, but yet the Quran came down in 23 years for the Prophet? We say this is the what? The Quran, all, all of the Quran coming to the lowest. And this came one night. And what night is that? 
And then the Quran coming to the Prophet, how long did that take? 23 years. And what benefit is that? Easy to understand. And gives the Prophet gives the, It's also, also easy for his heart to, to make his heart what? Firm. To make the Prophet heart? Heart firm. What else? Also makes the ruling easy for the what? For the companions to, to be able to, to follow. Very good. Okay. Now, we go to number four. Inshallah, today we, we plan, we hope we finish it, okay? We go to number four, okay? Number four, the Quran is also, is what was revealed to the, we're going to add on to this definition. Look, revealed to the Prophet. But there was other things also that was revealed to the Prophet that is not Quran. Okay? So, number four, we're going to say, okay, that which was revealed, to the Prophet. In wording and meaning. Look. Also the Quran is that which revealed to the Prophet in wording and in what? And in meaning. And we're gonna explain this, okay? Different 
But the Quran, the wording and the meaning says the what? It says the, the same. So when we say the Quran, we said so far we have the Quran is the Arabic language. The Quran is the speech of Allah. The Quran is what was revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu and it would add what was built to come in both wording and in meaning. What does this take away? This takes away hadith what? Hadith Qudsi. Okay. Number five. The Quran also is that which has been preserved in in the Mus'haf. So number five, we say also the Quran is that which has been preserved in the what? In, in the Mus'haf. Then we're going to explain this. What's a Mus'haf? It's a written copy of the what? Quran. Okay? And this Mus'haf, what does it include? It includes what? 114 surah. It starts with what surah? Surah Fatiha. And ends with what surah? Yes, sir. And ends with surah Al Nas. So now, number five. We're doing very good on time. Ibrahim, you're with us? Number five, we said that the Quran is that which has been preserved in the what? Mus'haf. And what is Mus'haf? Copy of the written. A written copy of the what? Of, of the Quran, okay? And it includes how many surahs? One through fourteen. Starts with surah Fatiha and ends with? Surah, surah al nas what, what does this take away? This takes away now some of the, because during the, the Prophet Wasallam time, some ayat were lifted from the Quran. You know, some ayat in the Quran were what? Lifted. This is during the time of the what? The Prophet Wasallam. So this Mus'haf here is the final, right before the Prophet died, the final Quran, the final surahs that we have, was put together in a what? In a Mus'haf. And that Mus'haf includes how many surahs? 114. It starts with surah Sadiqa and surah An-Nas. So this Mus'haf here, this part here, takes away the verses in the Quran that was what? Uplifted from the Quran. Because for many reasons. Many, many reasons, okay? Um, and this here, sometimes, sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uplift the verse from the Qur'an or sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will keep the verse in the Qur'an but the ruling is going to be what? Uplifted. Okay? And we're going to talk about that more when we talk about what? The science of, of Qur'an. Okay? But it's important to know this part, it's important to know this part because now you're saying that that which has been preserved in the Qur'an meaning the final Quran at the end of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's life, which includes how many surahs? 114, begins with surah Fatiha and ends with surah Al Nas. Now, number six, now, right? Number six. Some racist. Huh? Yeah, I said. 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 Huh? Yeah, I said
There's this part, right? Okay? Five was our time. So, Martin, what do you have so far on your nose?
the people that he was sent to, they were doing a lot of what? Magic. They used to do a lot of magic, and they were the best in this field in terms of magic. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends them to what? Musa. And what does Musa do? Allah tells them, drop your and it's going to turn into a what? Snake. Okay? A huge snake. Now, this snake that they dropped, the, the, this snake that Musa is he dropped, the people that knew magic, they knew that this was not what? So what do they do? They, they, they accepted Musa, they left their magic and they became what? Muslims. Okay? Isa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, his people at his time, they were what? They used to a lot of, they were doing a lot of medicine. They were at top of the medicine. So what did Allah give Musa, uh, Isa alayhi salam? Isa alayhi salam used to cure the what? The blind person. The one who was born blind, the one who was born blind, Musa, Isa alayhi salam, well, touch his eyes and what would happen to him? He would be able to see and he would say this is from who? Allah. And the one, the person that had a skin disease, what would he do? He would touch and then the skin disease would what? Go out. And also bring back people from? from that. And he would say this is بِإِذْنِلَّهِ from the permission of Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gives miracles to the Prophet to the left whatever their people are there. Huh? During the time of the Prophet وسلم, what did they used to enjoy the most? Poetry. Poetry. At the age of four, at the age of five, this young boy would memorize so much poetry. They used to have big competition on poetry. Okay? That's why one time, one man, one man he stood up to read a poetry. And then an old woman, very old woman, she said to him, Stop. He only read like two lines of his poetry. She says, Stop. You made over 100 mistakes. Look, he only read what? Two lines of his poetry. She said to him, Stop. You made over 100 mistakes in this in this poetry. Okay? So they were very good in terms of what? Poetry. And, 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 and coming up with these words, this being very eloquent. So the Prophet so Allah has Allah gave the Prophet the miracle of the what? Of the Quran. Look, Allah says, listen, you guys speak Arabic? The Quran is in the Arabic language. You guys do poetry? Then try to do something like the Quran to see that you will never be able to match the what? To, and then that on top of that, Allah He challenges them. Right when you open the Quran, Allah says, This book has no what? No doubt. Huh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, look at this Quran, see if you can find anything. Huh? Any contradiction you will not find. And then, Allah says, because they used to tell the Prophet, when the Prophet would come read Quran for them, they used to say what? Well, oh, you made this up. Okay, then Allah says, come up then, make you also come up with something like the Quran. Were they able to? No. That, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He challenged them again. We can't do the whole Quran, to bring ten surahs. You can't bring the whole Quran. Okay, just bring what? Ten surahs. Were they able to? Allah said, just bring one surah. That. Were they able to? No. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, all of you guys come together, the human being, and use the knowledge of the jinn, and you will never be able to come up with something like the what? Like the what? Like the Quran. Even one surah. Even one surah. Even what? One what? One surah they, they cannot come up with it. Now, that challenge was during the time of the Prophet, right? Does it stop there? It continued until what? Until now. And you know, when someone makes a challenge, they always put some type of condition. I challenge you to do this for this period of time. You know, like only for four or five years, I'm going to challenge you to do this. But the Quran is a challenge until the end of what? The end, the end of the end of time. So should we be, should we appreciate the Quran? Yes. Say, we ask Allah to make us from the people of the Quran. Say, Amen. Amen. Very good. Now, number eight. Number eight. Huh? 
Number eight, also you find that the Quran is what? al mutaabbad bi tilawihi That reciting the Quran, reciting the Quran, So reciting the Quran is the act of what? Is an act of worship. So, so reciting the Quran is an act of worship, and it comes with a specific reward. What is the reward? One letter is equal to what? Ten. One letter equal to how many good deeds? Ten. Ten. Ten good deeds. What did the Prophet say? Every letter of the Quran, you get how many good deeds? Mm. And the Prophet Alif Lam is not one letter, but Alif is one. one letter. Lam two and Mim is three. One. So just say Alif Lam How many good deeds? Thirty. Imagine you read one page of the Quran, or you read two, three pages. How many letters? A lot. Okay. But this is the Quran in general. This is the what? This is a picture of the Quran in what? In general, can we review it quickly? So, by the way, rec reciting the Quran is an act of worship. Now, when you read a normal book, do you get this good deed? Even when you read the hadith of the Prophet, is it like a specific deed like this one? Okay? So, this one also, the meaning of the Quran, that when you read it, it's an act of worship that comes with the specific rules. So, let's review quickly. The Quran is the what? Arabic language. Oh, and is that revealed to the prophet? Revealed to the prophet in both words and meaning. And that which has been preserved in the how many surahs? We start inside the end with also also reading uh, and that it reach us mutawatir <coughs> way. What does mutawatir mean? Like frequent what? Frequent narration. So many people. Okay? Also the challenge to to produce something like it and reciting it is the act of Allah inshallah. Subhanallah wa muhammad. Ashadullah and the structure of one is two move